welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis. And I'm Windell Oske from Evil Mad Scientist Laboratory. We're here on location at Maker Faire. In Austin, Texas. Okay, today we're going to build a jewel thief. Check it out. What is a jewel thief? It's spelled all wrong. J-O-U-L-E. A jewel thief is a very simple circuit you can build that can drive a white or blue LED from a single battery cell, even when the battery is almost dead. I've got a coin cell here that's 3 volts, and I've got a blue LED that requires 3 volts to light up. So when I go in and I hook it up, it lights up. Now, the thing is, is if I have this 1.5 volt battery and I want to hook it up, it doesn't actually light up. That's because this LED needs 3 volts. Now there's a workaround. This is where the jewel thief comes in. If I hook up the jewel thief to a 1.5 volt battery, check that out. It's bright as can be. And that's the magic of the Jewel Thief. We learned about this project from Big Clive. Check out this URL to go see where we got inspired to do this. First, we need either a white or a blue LED. We need a 1K ohm resistor. We need a basic small signal NPN transistor. For example, a 2N3904, one of the really common types. And we need a ferrite toroid. This is something you might find inside an old power supply or radio, often wrapped up with wire. But you can take the wire off and get just the toroid. We also are going to need some wire, which we're going to wrap around that toroid. So we have our two colors of wire here. Start by taking one end, and we're going to twist them together. So remember that those two were connected together. Then we take them through, and we're going to wind them around a bunch of times. Now we have a red and a blue from one side, and a red and a blue from the other side. So we're going to take one red one blue from each side, and we're going to attach them together, and these two are going to go off their own ways. So these two we're going to strip and solder together. That's it. Our coil is ready to go. Let's start with our toroid. We have the two ends soldered together already and the two loose ends. So one of these two loose ends we're going to take and we're going to connect to the 1K resistor. Preferably not touching the paper, or your fingers for that matter. Yay! I'm going to clip off my excess leads. Wear eye protection. Poke out your eyes with these things. Next, we're going to take the transistor. Take the two outer leads and bend them outwards even further, so we have plenty of room to solder. Take the middle lead and bend it down and backwards, not touching the other two leads. Now we're going to take that middle lead, and we're going to solder it to our resistor. So, a typical LED, and we're using a really big one here, has a flat side. It also has a long lead and a short lead. Usually the flat side is the same one that has the short lead. We're going to take these two leads and we're going to splay them apart, kind of like we do to the transistor leads. And then we're going to take these and we're going to attach them across the transistor like so. The last thing we need to solder is this other wire from the coil to this lead on the right side of the transistor. Hook this loose light lead from the LED up to the negative side of the battery and this side up to the positive. And look, it works. Yay! And here's the battery that my camera told me was dead. And take it and I hook it up to the jewel thief. And what do we get? That is so not dead. This is like recycling before recycling. Pre-cycling. So this is your call to action. Call, call to, to action. action! You've got to go out there and get your batteries and bring them back to life. Squeeze all of the juice out of them with this jewel thief. That's when I should have said have a good weekend. Have a great weekend.